Hi everyone, I'm Russ. I am Mark. And this is a Spirited Endeavor. Prime in the Pump Edition. That's right. Okay. So this is number Trace. Yeah. On um, our uh, Arm Rose Distillery Tour. That's right. And uh, so far, if you haven't caught them, check them out. We did a video on this one, this one, and now we're on this one. Yeah, for sure. And uh, it's kind of surprised me, you know, I, you know, we're... You know, as we as we've kind of done this journey, we're becoming more and more like proof hounds. Yeah, we you really know, are. we're looking for the higher proof and everything. And this is a reminder that sometimes a lower proof can offer you some really, really great rewards. Yeah, I agree. This one's only forty three percent ABV, and yet we were both really pleased with it. Yeah, for sure. Um, none of these is over fifty, um, but we uh, they they pack a lot of flavor. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they. I think they all punch above their weight class. Yeah. So, um, yeah, really excited to get into this next one. Me too. Now, one of the things we were just talking about, and it's kind of cool, actually, is we, we did a little sampling uh, at RM Rose Distillery, and they give you little little plastic cups, basically, to do your samples with. And the tasting experience out of those little cups is very different than what you get out of the Glen Cairn sitting at a table. Yeah, for uh, sure. Pouring I mean, out of the bottle, which I think has been very interesting as well. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get all the uh, the notes, uh, you know, in the nose like you get, yeah. you know, from a Glencairn. Doesn't, you know, the, you know, it's just a, you know, a conical shaped glass, mm -hmm. where this is, you know, the tulip shaped, and it kind of concentrates those those flavors and everything, yeah. and or those uh, those aromas, and then you kind of get that up through, you know, and uh, you know, it's it does a really great job of helping you. You know, define all the all the um, yeah. components of that whiskey. Yeah, if you're just getting into whiskey tasting, um, one of the things you may notice is early on you have a difficult time picking up on some of the different uh, either aromas or flavors, and that can have a lot to do with the glass that you're using. And as Mark said, the Glen Cairn is definitely the direction to go with that. But again, it, it that kind of highlighted the difference between using just an open mouth glass versus a Glen Cairn. Very unique experience. You know, I wonder if there's a uh, a market in actually getting those little plastic Glen That Cairns. would be cool. Little tasting Glen Cairns. I know. Right. That would be cool. All right, that's our million dollar idea. Copyright. That's right. Copyright at a spirit and endeavor. So this one is forty eight percent ABV. So it's the higher ABV out of the ones that we've got here, and I think it's the higher ABV out of what they offer. Um, uh, yes, and that probably is, the one I'm most excited about. Yes, this is the Bass Reeves edition. So it's uh, named, named after the legendary lawman. Mm -hmm. um, one, of, yeah, a black sheriff. You know, back in late 1800s. And what was really interesting about interesting about him is he was kind of the inspiration for the Lone Ranger. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And now you know. That is definitely darker, so progressively darker, I will say. Oh yeah, the oils on that are much, much thicker. Yeah. And you know what's interesting is I don't think it appears as thin in the glass as this one did. So this was the thickest. This then kind of got a little thinner, and I think this one's kind of striking a middle ground between the two. Yeah. Color-wise, though, it's definitely it, yeah, it's definitely darker. darker. Now, it hasn't been aged all that long. They said at least two years. Mm-hmm. You know, like uh, like any bourbon. Well, but. and that's at least two years in Georgia. Yeah. So there is that's that. that's some interesting climate going on there. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now the oak on that is kind of tamped down. It is. That's getting more towards a better balance that we were seeking earlier. And and the sweetness is back on this one. Yeah, it is. And uh, yeah, it's more like a you know like a you know rock candy kind of yeah. sweetness. You know, you yeah, know, maybe like maybe that. a hint of car caramel in that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, definitely getting a little bit of the caramel. The oak is certainly still present. What's um, interesting on all of these is, I mean, they're not fruity. No, no, not by any stretch. I mean, there's no, there's no fruit in it. There, yeah, there's no. If you're looking for cherry in a bourbon, you're not finding it here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's no Fruit Loops in this glass. But there's a through line. There the is. way the oak presents is very similar amongst all of them. It's just how much it presents with each one. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks like it, you know, it was a build up here and then kind of a a little bit of a decline here. It seems that way. Uh, but the but the sweetness on this one and this one are are pretty comparable, at least in the nose. Yeah. Well, shall we? Let us. Cheers. Cheers.
that's oakier on the palate than it was in it the is. nose. But the oak doesn't mask the sweetness in this case. No, it doesn't. It really kind of... Um, Ooh. They, they, I mean, they kind of work together. I mean, yeah. they, that is a much more rounded whiskey. It really is. There's more complexity, and I would agree it's definitely more well-rounded than either mm. of the other two. This one, again, the oak is present, but it, it's, it veers more towards sweetness. This one goes heavy towards the oak, and you really don't get the sweetness. This one, I think, is the better balance. Yeah, and it's not as spicy as the other two. It actually Agreed. presents... I, I'm going to use the S word. It's smooth. 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 Whiskey. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a little bit of burn on the top of the palate, but I don't get it around the sides of the tongue. I don't get it on mm. the tip of the tongue. Um, that is just pleasant. Yeah, there, it's interesting. For me, you know, you picked up kind of a sour note on this one, I think it was, and I'm getting mm-hmm. just a hint of that with this one. But the sweetness really goes nicely with that. Yeah, it doesn't seem out of place. No. A little sour note on that one was just a little too sour. Mm. Yeah, I'm with you on that. That oak's though. But Again, this. Again, oh. the oak is the through line. Very distinct oak on these. Yeah, absolutely. And, yeah, similar. Mm-hmm. Similar, yeah. Yeah. Wow, that is pretty wild. Again, the nose was much sweeter than what we got out of this one, more comparable to this one. But palette-wise, that oak definitely stepped up. Yeah, and I'm getting something else in here, too, that I didn't get on the other two. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, I can't quite get that either. I know what you're talking about, I think. Like a little herbalness. Yeah. It's almost like it was imparted by the oak, but I can't quite say what it is. And it's a little different than, like, rye herbalness. Right. Yeah, you know it doesn't it doesn't have those that herbal quality, the black licorice or anything like that in there. Um, this is, it's just pleasant. It's just yeah. in there. It's pleasant. It's a it's just a great. There's a bit whiskey. more going on in this one yeah. than the other two. Yeah, there's uh, there's layers going on in this one. Yeah, no, I'm with you on that. Really cool. Mm. And again, the the color on this one really gives you an idea of what the barrel did with this one. And the oils are just gorgeous. This strikes a really nice balance. Yeah, the finish on that is just great, too. It seems yeah. to, like, linger for forever. There's almost like a lemony aspect to it. Oh, yeah. I get that on the uh, the uh, aftertaste. Yeah, like a little zest. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I think it's probably more like zest than it would be mm. the actual fruit. Really cool. Yeah. Well, what are you thinking on our scale? Oh, I'm, I'm giving this one, like, a four- Maybe a four and a half. Yeah, I'm going four on this one. This this one's really cool, um, especially for such a small distillery to have come up with something that's so well balanced and really interesting as far as the different flavors you get. Really impressed by that. Yeah, really, really digging this. Well, this has been a fun journey. This really has. I mean, having the opportunity to try each of them, you know, sequentially and kind of see the, the path as they ended up here. Um, really, really cool. Yeah, it, Fabulous, fabulous time. Well, if you guys get a chance, check them out. RM Rose up in Dillard, Georgia. Uh, But yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the show. All right. Thank you. We sure did. Take care. Okay. Catch you later. Bye. Bye. Sorry. I changed it up, didn't I? It's fine.